My name is Lael Soror. I'm a senior digital communication and social media major at Cabrini. Um, I'm doing a minor in event management with a focus in food journalism. We focused on three different um, countries, Guatemala, Bangladesh, and um, Rwanda. And then what we did was we split the students who attended the event into in different income classes, middle income, high income, and low income. And then the students who were placed in those incomes were kind of learning about the living situations and the food that um, the people in those countries have access to. Okay, so the lower class. <laughs> Um, group of students. Um, not gonna lie, I really wanted to be in the lower class. I, not that I wanted to be all there high up there because I know what it's like. I've been to the village. Um, I got the privilege to go back home uh, six, seven years ago and see where my parents grew up. So I knew like uh, the lifestyle and uh, what, it, what it meant to be poor. Um, on top of that, I was fasting. So Another thing that really got me excited is that fasting and this event really like aligned with each other because many, what, I, what we all know is that many poor people initially really fast because they don't have food. Uh, the only difference is, is that they don't have a meal to look forward to, whereas we're fasting and we have a meal to look forward to. So I wanted to attend the food fest primarily be because it mentioned that there's Guatemala in it and I've been to Guatemala recently so I also wanted to see what it's actually like to experience fasting and then taking on a meal of what someone else normally eats in poor countries. So we had a terrific turnout uh, a number of classes uh, encouraged their students to come probably about 70 students in all so it was really an excellent turnout. I learned from the large group discussion that again a lot of people want to help but they don't know where their money's gonna to go to, but because we had this great discussion, we learned about the NGOs. There was this one student that um, really like caught my eye. Um, he talked about how like there was some there's some instances where we think that we're live we're not living the best life, or like there are some instances where we tell ourselves that oh, I want this, but I don't have enough. We tend to forget about people that don't even have what we have and they, are try they, they get the bare minimum or even nothing. I think it's important for us to realize that we live in a very privileged situation here in the United States and you know, half the world does not have the privilege that we have. And so when it comes time to vote or just to uh, treat people in a better way, we have to realize that the privilege that we have is very exclusive to us and we need to have compassion for other people. We showed at CRS was just a little bit of the problem, but I think if you really want to get involved and help the people in those countries and countries you know, around the world, um, I would suggest doing your own research and being able to reach out to important people, networking yourself with CRS and with different organizations to help those people in need. I think CRS ambassadors over the years um, really work hard on this event and on other events and I think it makes them even more committed to helping their fellow human beings around the world. I would say if you are interested in CRS, um, we do meet every Tuesday nights at 6 p.m. in the Wolfington Center, so if you're interested in these kind of topics, feel free to join.